Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Um, I had another video planned for today, but when I was about to edit the video, I went onto my channel and I realized that I had actually already created the exact same video. Not sure why I didn't realize when I was filming the video that I had already created the same video before, but I don't know, life happens, you know, I lost track. So I wanted to film another video for you guys so that you guys would have something to watch this week. Um, but I didn't have any ideas off the top of my head because I usually kind of like pre-plan my videos but since this is very last minute I really had nothing um, so I decided that I would share with you guys why it is that I kind of took like a four or five week break uh, from like all of social media um, I felt like I was going to share this at some point with you guys just because I wanted to um, share my journey and hopefully um, you know through sharing my journey might help someone else out there so um, yeah I just wanted to put the message and the story out into the universe and you know just hope that it brings good to someone so else. So about six to seven weeks ago um, we found out that I was pregnant and we found out on a Monday um, we were super excited we had been kind of talking about um, trying for our second child um, and we, I mean we definitely didn't plan this out and this was really unexpected but we were super happy and we just felt like the timing was really right um, for this pregnancy so almost immediately um, after I found out that I was pregnant I started having bleeding and I had bleeding for about four days the bleeding wasn't super super heavy like a period but it was also more than just spotting which you can sometimes get early in the pregnancies I wasn't extremely concerned when I first saw that I had bleeding because I did have some bleeding with my first pregnancy as well and and, um, you know everything turned out fine for my first pregnancy but um, I did start to get concerned on the fourth day because um, on the fourth day I was also passing blood clots when I went to the bathroom um, and that had started from like the third day so I had blood clots already for two days and then bleeding for four days so um, I went to the ER that night um, and I went to the ER because it was already nighttime. The OB, my OB was, you know, not working. So I went to the ER just to get like a checkup. And um, they did an ultrasound. The baby looked fine. Um, there, you know, the doctor told me there was nothing to be really concerned about and just to go and get an appointment with my OB. So I waited through the weekend. I was still, you know, having bleeding. And then on that following Monday, I went into my doctor and she took a look and we did an ultrasound and she said everything looked really good. We could see the baby and we could see the heartbeat as well. Um, and she said that everything looked good and um, she, you know, didn't really know why I was bleeding at that point, but she suggested that I go and do a blood test because she said that if your progesterone levels are low, that could be the cause of the bleeding early on in the pregnancy and have to take like a supplement to help increase your levels. If you are experiencing any symptoms that don't seem right to you early in your pregnancy, definitely the best thing to do is contact your doctor right away and go and get checked up. You know, my doctor, um, issue this blood test for me I think that's where I went wrong um, and that was kind of you know like almost like a second early warning sign for me so I never went and got the blood test because a I really wasn't feeling well and so it, if I was gonna go and do the blood test I have to get about like six or seven to go and do it and I just you know I could get my I could barely get myself up out of bed at like 8 30 to make it into the office um, so just thinking about six or seven, it was really, it just seemed really impossible for me. And also the bleeding started to, uh, decrease. So I didn't see my doctor for about another week and a half. And then, um, the bleeding by that time had really, really subsided, but I still felt completely pregnant. My symptoms were still there. I still felt sick, couldn't eat anything, um, you know, still bloated every night. So I didn't think much of it. I just thought like, oh, you know, the pregnancy is normalizing now and um yeah that i had nothing to worry about i went for my second appointment and at this point i was about seven weeks pregnant and um, and that's when the doctor that did the ultrasound and there was nothing there so you could see the um the baby there but there was no heartbeat and um, the pregnancy sac was extremely deformed. So if you guys don't know what a pregnancy sac is, so this is like what a typical ultrasound picture looks like. And then this little like black, you know, spot in the middle here. I'm trying to show you guys without a glare. 
Okay, and then you see that little dot in the center? That's a sen that's the baby, and then the black kind of like hole surrounding it, that's the pregnancy sac. This is what a normal one looks like, but a deformed one, you know, it doesn't look this like, um, just like this clear. There's, it, it's very like kind of like squished in on some areas, and um, it just looks kind of like deformed. So, yeah. So then that's when the doctor told me that um, it didn't look good. And she did a couple of other um, exams and um, yeah, so then that's when she told me that I had miscarried. Um, I was really, really sad at the time, obviously. I've kind of processed it now so um, I can talk about it without getting emotional. But, it, you know, I have to say that I felt like there were things that I could have done. Um, miscarriage, if you go and look it up online, a lot of times, you know, it's really not, miscarriages are really not due to anything that you do. So, you know, it's not anything that you eat or how much you exercise or how much sleep you get, nothing like that, right? So my doctor told me that most miscarriages happen because of some genetic issue. Um, so then the baby kind of just, you know, self aborts. But for me personally, I just feel like there were definitely early warning signs that I should have been more aware of. So definitely the bleeding and then also, um, you know, I should have just done the blood test regardless of um, what I thought about my bleeding. Um, so those are really the two pieces of, of advice that I would give all of you. If you are early on in your pregnancy, if something doesn't seem right, go into your doctor immediately and, um, you know, definitely listen to what your doctor tells you. And I know that sounds just so intuitive and it, you guys might be sitting there thinking like, oh my gosh, you are so dumb. Why didn't you go and do the blood test? Um, you know, and honestly, I, I, you know, I'm, I'm to blame, right? Um, I had a, I had a very successful first pregnancy. The bleeding was going away. I didn't feel good. And so I just, um, you know, I just got lazy and didn't go. Um, so that is kind of my miscarriage story. And then the only other thing that I wanted to share with you guys, because I want this video to be useful for those of you who are going through a miscarriage. Um, but once you miscarry, there are really two options you have to help your body pass all of that pregnancy tissue. The first one is you can do the DNC surgery. Um, and the second option is you can do the pill medication, which is called like misoprostol, I think. Um, and that's the option that I chose. So with the pill option, the misoprostol um, was four pills all at once and you insert it um, from down there. And you insert it in and then it helps your body like loosen up the pregnancy tissues and the lining and then, you know, helps your body like push it out. So what I did was that I, you know, I, I inserted all four at like 8 a.m. in the morning on a weekend and um, a lot of, cramping a lot of very very heavy cramping for about five hours and then your body is like passing all of the tissue so a lot of bleeding as well um the bleeding the heavy heavy bleeding i would say lasts for about um like for me at least lasted about 12 hours um and the cramps i would say about eight hours but everything was pretty much out and done within 48 hours. So after 48 hours, I still had spotting um, and bleeding here and there. It was kind of like a normal period, but um, you know, no more cramping, no more super, super heavy bleeding. Um, so yeah, if you go with the misoprostol option, I think you can expect all of your heavy bleeding to be done within like 24 to 48 hours. Um, I was really, really foolish in the beginning and I thought that I might be able to go to work because that's what my doctor told me. She was, she said that yes, you can take it and still go to work. But um, from my personal experience, I don't think there's any way I could have survived at work because I had to change. Okay, so this part is getting a little bit, it might be a little bit TMI for some of you. So if you don't want to hear about this, then you know, just stop watching the video here. But you definitely need to be prepared if you're going to do this um, at home, like self abortion or, you know, whatever you want to call it. Um, but you definitely want to be prepared with like overnight adult diapers, um, as well as like the like biggest XL overnight maxi pads, um, because the bleeding is very, very heavy. And I had to constantly be changing the pad out about once every 45 minutes. Um, 
and that lasted for about like six to eight hours like I said so very heavy bleeding um, and you just want to be prepared for that because I was not in the beginning and Andrew had to go midway out to the store and grab me all these things but um, yeah, it wasn't a bad experience. I would say that I liked being in the comfort of my own home. I just relaxed on the couch for basically two days. Um, well, the first day I was like watching TV because it really helped take my mind off of the pain. And the second day I pretty much just slept the entire day just because I felt so tired. Um, I'm sure it was my body just like healing from the process. So, um, yeah, so that's what I did, and then after that initial 48 hours, um, I had bleeding for about another week and a half, but it was much more normal bleeding, like a normal period type of bleeding. Um, you know, it wasn't like crazy or anything like that. So the entire process, I would say, takes about a week and a half to two weeks. Um, and I actually just went into my doctor today for my last checkup and she said everything looked good um, You know the pill got everything out So I don't have to do any sort of like follow-up pills or follow-up surgery because sometimes like for some people the pill If you do the pill once it doesn't always remove everything and then you may have to follow up with the surgery so that is my story and that is why I have been gone for a couple of weeks. Um, everything that I said in this video, please remember that these are my, no my own experiences and the um, you know information and advice that my doctor gave me based on my circumstances. Um, again, you know, if you are experiencing anything in your pregnancy that you don't feel is normal or you're just, you know, you're not sure how to feel about, it or you're just not sure what to feel about it um, definitely contact your doctor right away and just get checked up I hope this video it just kind of helps you guys um, to know what the process is like and also that you know you're not alone this happens to a lot of people um, I don't I don't know why but like people they don't really like to talk about this stuff they don't really like to say you know I had a miscarriage or I had two miscarriages or three miscarriages um, but quite honestly I don't mind sharing at all. I just feel like it helps me to heal um, and process my emotions. And also, um, I hope it just you know benefits someone else out there as well. So that is my main reason for sharing with you guys. And um, I hope you enjoyed the video. If not, that's fine too. Um, as always, I will link my blog and my Instagram down in the description box below. Um, go and check those out if you want to um, see more of what I'm doing throughout the week when I'm not on YouTube. Thank you guys again so much for being here with me today and I'm just so happy to be back and filming videos again. It feels really, really good. Um, and thank you to all of you who did send me messages via Instagram, um, just kind of like welcoming me back and um, checking in with me. So thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it. It was really, really great to read those messages. Hey guys, so that is it for this video and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.